guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 8 of the Real Madrid career mode series. We're going to kick off the episode with a home game against Manchester City. And quickly, I would like to say if um, there's anything in the video, like the quality's a little bit bad or something just doesn't feel right, it's probably because I am making this video on Windows Movie Maker instead of Sony Vegas because I'm at my dad's house instead of my mum's house like normal uh, and I had to make this video on his laptop so I'm not really sure about the settings and stuff but hopefully it all turns out alright, uh, hopefully it's not atrocious but if there's any problems that is why uh, but we're going to jump back into the gameplay, this is going to be a pretty difficult matchup in my opinion we're facing Ronaldo for the first time since we uh, sold him to Manchester City for a lot of money so hopefully He's not too much of an impact, uh, but we're going to go into the 47th minute right now. Gareth Bale is on the ball here after a lovely ball from Javier Hernandez. He's going to cross it in. Isco on the volley, and what a great save there from Joe Hart. If Isco scored that, I would have gone absolutely nuts. It would have been an amazing cross from Gareth Bale and an amazing volley there from Isco. Bad luck not to score it, but oh well. Also, guys, on the last episode, you absolutely crushed the like tally after 35, and you had about 50 on there, which is absolutely awesome. If we can hit 45 likes on this today's episode, that would be absolutely outstanding, and that will ensure another episode for you guys tomorrow. I'm really loving making this series, and you guys seem to be digging it. We're almost at 4K subscribers, so if we can hit that pretty soon, that'll be absolutely awesome. It's really gotten me got that going into YouTube. Uh, we're going to get back to the gameplay. We're in the 53rd minute, and Jovetic just gets taken out there from Sergio Ramos, I think it was, and the referee, unfortunately, awards a penalty. Ramos is absolutely fuming. Uh, I didn't think... Oh, it was kind of a penalty. If you look on the replay here, uh, he kind of just crushes him from behind, but it kind of just goes with the uh, with the back foot. Like, Jovetic went for the shot, and he just got his foot clipped on Ramos's knee. But right now, Casillas has to try stopping Cristiano Ronaldo from scoring against us on his return to the Santiago Bernabeu. And if Ronaldo scores and celebrates, he's going to be classified as an absolute twat. Yep, Ronaldo's a twat. Bloody hell, Ronaldo. 1-0 in Manchester City's favour. Not very happy. He tells us to calm down. Well, Ronaldo, you can fuck off, mate. Uh, we have lost, unfortunately, one goal to nil against Manchester City at home. Absolutely terrible stuff. Not happy at all about that. We're going to get a international management offer here from Portugal. And, of course, I am going to reject it. Uh, rejecting all international management offers. We've got a big challenge on our hands now. Yet again, we are playing at the Santiago Bernabeu. But this time, it is going to be against Monaco. Uh, Falcao and Rodriguez and Moutinho. They're just going to be an absolute handful. Going to be so difficult to contain. And hopefully, we can do it successfully. It's a rainy night in... Uh, Madrid, and I don't like playing in the rain, so this is definitely going to be a challenge, but uh, right now it goes out to Morata, Morata headers it to Javier Hernandez in the fifth minute, Hernandez to Casemiro, Casemiro with a shot, and he just smashes it over the crossbar, unlucky there from Casemiro, could have got us off to an early lead, uh, but off the goal kick, it is going to be Spazic, I don't even know how to pronounce that guy, uh, but he's going to pass it out to Ad Bonior. Uh he's going to pass it, and then uh, we try to tackle him, unfortunately we can't, uh, but Morata does it successfully, uh, Casemiro Casemiro on the counter-attack here. Uh, he's going to pass it to Jesse Rodriguez. He has another strike, and he just misses it to the left-hand side of the post. Bad luck there, Jesse Rodriguez. Uh, but yet again, Rodriguez is on the ball. He's got plenty of space. Looking for a man. Finds Morata over the top. Oh, what a goal on the volley from Morata into the bottom right-hand corner. Absolutely awesome stuff. Uh, a great goal to give us a 1-0 advantage over AS Monaco. Absolutely chuffed, guys. Uh, but Javier Hernandez now is going to lob it back over the top there to Fischer. Back to Morata. Can he get his second goal? No, he can't after a great save there from the Monaco keeper, denying Morata of a brace. Uh, Morata, this is a rare opportunity for him to play. He's not really getting much game time, uh, so he really needs to make the most of it, and he's really been impressing me in this matchup. Uh, but it is going to be Varane off the corner. He just headers it over the crossbar. Varane is always very, very dangerous off the corner. Uh, and he almost made Monaco pay there. It is Dimitar Berbatov, the former Fulham man. Go Fulham. Come on, you whites. Um, getting it through to Rodriguez. I think that might have been... Or, no, it wasn't. It was a black dude. Not 
uh, Rodriguez, but he doesn't matter because he misses pretty terribly, to be fair. Should have at least got it on target, but he just hit it too far to the left. Uh, it is James Rodriguez right now on the ball, though, uh, looking for a man. He lobs it over the top there, or plays it through to Radamel Falcao. The Colombian with a strike, but a great save there from Ike Casillas, uh, denying Falcao a equalizing goal. And it is proved to be very, very vital as we win one goal to nil against AS Monaco. We should have won by more, uh, but... Three points is three points, and I'm definitely very, very happy with that. Unfortunately, Hangerland, uh, the former Fulham man, has suffered a sprained knee. He's going to be out for three weeks, which isn't too much of a blow, but still. And guys, big, big news. We've got our press conference ahead of the clash with Barcelona. We're going to praise uh, Neymar. We are going to go Messi, but then we go Neymar. Praise Neymar. He is one of my favorite players in real life. Uh, and now we have the big El Clasico, the first one for the season at the Camp Nou. This is going to be absolutely ginormous, guys. If we can pick up three points against our rivals, Barcelona, undoubtedly our biggest rivals, that'll be absolutely awesome. The Camp Nou is absolutely beaming tonight. It is looking beautiful, and I am very, very keen to jump into this matchup. We are sitting in first position with Barcelona in fourth. Hopefully, we can get three more points to even clear the gap more from the bottom of the, or the middle of the table, I suppose. Uh, but these next-gen graphics are absolutely amazing. I was so pumped to play the El Clasico. Always a great fixture in real life, and I get to replicate it on FIFA. This is the Barcelona side. Very, very strong side, of course. Messi and Neymar are going to be two players we need to watch out for, of course. They are going with a 4-3-3 formation. This is not going to be easy, guys. We need all the luck we can get, but I believe in our ability. We're in the 10th mil, 19th minute, excuse me. Uh, Sanchez is on the ball here looking for a player. Uh, pretty terrible defending on my behalf. He passed it out to Seth Fabregas. Fabregas to Jordi Alba, to Xavi. Xavi with the, passing it out to Busquets. And what the hell did you see out the corner of the screen? Pepe just slide tackled him. Oh my god, Pepe. you got to control your anger, mate. Pepe yet again losing his temper in a big occasion. And what the hell? He just randomly slides there. Casillas had it covered, and he bloody fouls Busquets. So right now, Casillas has to try saving this penalty from Leo Messi. Can Casillas do it? Big occasions call for big game players. And can Casillas be a big game player? Yes, he is. What a great save there from Ike Casillas, denying Leo Messi an early goal. Awesome, awesome stuff there from Casillas, you absolute gun. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, as Sergio Busquets... Gets past us some absolute terrible defending and goalkeeping from Casillas and Pepe, resulting in Barcelona, unfortunately, taking a 1-0 advantage over us. Not a happy chappy at all. Uh, he absolutely just dicked us with that little take pass there. Uh, but, oh well, what can you do? There's still a long way to go. As we are now into the second half, Gareth Bale getting his skills past Messi, playing a lovely ball there to uh, Isco, I think that is. I can't read it, really. It could be Suarez. Uh, but Bale with the strike. Suarez there with the follow-up. Suarez gets us an equalizer in the El Clasico. We are now at a one-all scoreline. Awesome stuff. Luis Suarez, the Uruguayan, absolutely having an amazing season. Super Suarez. Super bloody Suarez. But Xavi, he is on the ball now. He is going to play it off to Sergio Busquets. And the diver gets tackled there. Uh, but it goes to Neymar. Neymar using his Brazilian pace and skills to get past us. Some pretty poor defending. Sanchez there. One-on-one -on -one with Marcelo. Marcelo like shoulder charges him. And oh my god. The referee awards yet another penalty. Two penalties in one matchup. Not happy at all. Uh, guys, what are we going to do? Sanchez dives a little bit, but uh, Marcelo was definitely in the wrong. Can Casillas duplicate his goalkeeping abilities from earlier on in the matchup? Can he save it from Messi again? He's trying to psych out Messi. Come on. Come on, Casillas. Oh, no. We go the same way, but Messi changes his direction and goes to the right-hand side. 2-1 in Barcelona's favor, but there's still plenty of time, guys, for a comeback. Come on, guys. 66 minute, it is Bale. Uh, he is passing. I can't even read who it is there. I think it might have been Isco. But Suarez, what an amazing outside of the foot finish. Absolutely awesome stuff. So, so pumped with Suarez there. And now we are on the 75th minute. It is Hazard, I think it was, passing it to Bale. 
Dale getting tackled. Dale looking for somebody. He finds Suarez. Suarez out to Eden Hazard. Hazard with the shot. What a great save there from Victor Valdez. It is cleared by the defense. Out to Chabi Alonso. Beautiful piece of jockeying play there from Chabi Alonso. He is looking for a man. He's going to pass it to Bale. Bale to Marcelo. Marcelo pushing up. He Ronaldo chops inside the one. Crosses it to Suarez. Suarez with the header. Suarez with the goal. The go-ahead goal in the 78th minute from Luis Suarez. Giving us a 3-2 advantage over Barcelona in the El Clasico. Absolutely awesome stuff there from the Uruguayan striker. He's a big game player. Awesome, awesome stuff from Luis Suarez. He gives us the win over Barcelona in the El Clasico. Oh, I just choked my own spit. In the El Clasico, guys. Absolutely awesome stuff there. We defeat Barcelona 3-2 to wrap up the episode and get our first victory in the El Clasico. A Luis Suarez hat trick goes a long way. Guys, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like. If we can hit 45 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Make sure you leave a comment for me to personally reply to. Subscribe for more FIFA 14 career mode content. We're almost at 4K, guys. Make that happen for me. That will be absolutely awesome. But most importantly, guys, have an amazing day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.